What's up everybody, Gamer Solid Oed here, I'm back and I'm here to bring you guys a new reaction. Western Conference Finals is what we've been waiting for. Rockets and Warriors, two high powered offenses. Game 1 was a little bit disappointing, at least for me. Um, even though the Warriors won, won that game, they weren't at their apex and the Rockets they played heavy isolation basketball game, but it wasn't their typical type of game because Chris Paul was bad. And I seen towards the end of the game, he was trying to get points in garbage time. He got to like 20 some points. I don't care about that. He was bad game one. Game two, he stepped up. Um, he dropped Curry again. Um, they played their, their offense to its full potential in my opinion. I don't think they could have played any better than they did. Uh, was it last night? Oh no, two days ago. Um, but let's watch the highlights. Let's watch them, man. Let's react. Because I got to talk about this game, man. Hold on. Give me a minute. Hampton Park, that is trash. They forgot about Clay the rest of the game. There you go, Reza. There you go. Over the last three years, it's usually because of that type of that man right there. He's a nightmare. Curry floats it down low. Here's the mismatch against Paul. So Kevin and I'm gonna talk about him. By Thompson at the start. I might get on his case a little bit. Harden off the dribble. That's good. James. Sorry, game one. That anytime Curry was a defender, they attacked him. Tonight, anytime Harden's been a defender, Curry and both Draymond have attacked him. And I'm gonna get on Kerry too. I'm gonna talk about his ass. Harden now played by Green. Shot clock is down at five. Harden for three. Ah! That's a lot of work there for the bearded one. Of course, Thompson really puts it on the floor. I was shocked with the reason driving to the rim. That was kind of weird. Seeing him actually hit layups. I forgot about that. James Harden, man. There we go. There is the Warriors offense that we all remember. Oh! That man is not injured. Miss me with that talk about how he's not 100%. I don't care. Uh-oh. 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 West chasing that ring, huh? Swagged out. CP3 making sure if they lose, it's not his fault. Yeah. Clint, we need that defense, bro. Him, that matchup between Clint. Oh, man. In the, in Draymond's face, like. Thompson is like he disappeared the rest of the game. What happened? Yo, Tucker, man. He is the MVP of the night. Watch this. Watch. Oh! <laughs> yeah! 
There we go, Clay. Get him, Clay. This is not fair. Watch this ball movement. Damn, Tony sitting there talking about it. He didn't change nothing. Shut your mouth. Uh. Uh oh, uh oh. Hard, why are you leaving KD? Like, why are you dropping back? Like, I don't get that. Uh oh. Boop. More true for your head top, Curry. You got dropped and you got dunked on in the same play. How does that happen? Look at Ariza driving to the rim. Ain't that some? KD was trying his hardest, but it don't matter, baby. That's a foul. Uh oh. They left Curry alone on an island, man. That's come on, Warriors defense. What happened? Yo, Iguodala flopping is hilarious. Here we go, Tucker. Capella, man, you're supposed to block. They got you. Uh oh. That's the shot he gets on LeBron's face. Truth. Uh oh. There we go, Curry. He needs to, like, stick to just, you know, using his. I'm gonna get on this. Hold on. The Warriors defense like disappeared in this game completely and I'm trying to take credit away, but come on, man. Answer that. He answered that call. Paul making sure. I like that. Oh! Rest in peace. Oh! <laughs> oh man! Man! Steph Curry played trash defense. Draymond getting mad. That's a, did they give him a tech, by the way? Tell me in the comment section. Hard as any player in the NBA. 
Johnson. Joe Johnson with a rainbow three. Black with the rebound. At one and one. With the next two games to be played in the Bay Area, Pachulia lays it home. Thumbs up, Pachulia. All right, this is garbage time. I'm not. I'm not watching garbage time. I don't watch garbage time. Miss me with garbage time. I don't watch garbage time. But guess what? Rockets won. Rockets. Positives. Um, you played your best game. You exploited the Warriors' weakness, and that is Steph Curry's defense. Um, we all know. For the most part, Warriors tend to hide Steph Curry on the, well, whomever the opposing team's worst offensive player is. That's how it normally goes. Clay gets to handle the responsibility of handling the opponent's best offensive player. Now, in this case, the Rockets have versatile offensive weapons on the guard positions. Ain't no way he's hiding. They put that man in pick and roll every single play when he was on the floor. You guys seen how many times he fell on the floor. Now you could call it flopping, you could call it cross, crossed over. I don't care what you call it. He was embarrassed. He got embarrassed. The thing about drawing those type of fouls is that oftentimes when you're a star, you draw those fouls from role players. Now you're playing Chris Paul. So, and you falling on the ground left and right I don't care if he pushed you off you are strong enough to like plant your foot and give that same physicality back so miss me with all that stuff he was falling on the ground when he was hitting those acrobatic layups so also miss me with him be not being 100% the man himself is saying he's he is 100% that he's good you see those layups he's hitting over Capella and that's one of the best rim protectors in the league he was hitting acrobatic layups versus Anthony Davis. We've seen Steph Curry have, you know, sh you know, have these, you know, stretches where he just his shot won't go in. It happened in the regular season and it happened in the postseason as well. It's up to him to figure it out. Not you fans. I don't want you getting in these conversations and talk about how he's not 100% just like in 2016. Miss me with that. Warriors What made you special what made you guys Appealing to Kevin Durant what made him want to come to your team It was not the star talent that you guys on your, you have on your team. It is your system You guys went away from your system <clears throat> You left what made you special You went and gave the ball to Kevin Durant Instead of, you know, moving the ball and finding the right play. What the hell was that? I saw play after. I, it's like they reversed situations in this game. It's like the Warriors became the Rockets in game two. Like how? Like you are the prototypical ball moving offense. And you have the talents to back it up. You're like San Antonio with superstar. What the hell are you doing posting up Kevin Durant? Every single play. I'm fine with it towards the end of the game if you need a clutch shot because Stephen Curry wasn't there. He was not existing. But you you was doing that in the second quarter, in the third quarter, and I'm like, like what the hell is going on? The office was not humming for the Warriors. Kevin Durant was waving off Steve Kerr telling him, yo, I'm hot, I got this. Steve Kerr, man, I know this man is going to be... I know he can opt out this summer, but... You need to like put a leash. Well, that sounds a bit racist. You need to like, I don't know. You need to control this offense, man. You need to bring it back to what it was. Stop trying to please Kevin Durant. I know he's great, great offensive talent. I remember it was in game one. He tried to sub him out. And then he subbed him out and Kevin Durant was like, I'm hot, like what are you doing? And then he pointed to Steph Curry. He was like, Steph Curry's in the game. Like, come back in. And then the Rockets go on a 5-0 and run. And then Kevin Durant goes back in the game. Like, is it, is it about the process or is it about the result? Like, 
What's going on here? I thought it was about the process for the Warriors. That's how they got the success that they have. But now that like KD is here and Steph Curry is struggling, they don't know what to do. It's like KD, 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 KD. It's almost like Clay is not there anymore. It's almost like I know Draymond. Draymond, hold on. You're not getting off the hook. You are terrible. Terrible. Not only on defense, you are dead ass not even helping on off defense. Like, what the hell? What happened to your like help defenses? You're not even stepping up. You got Eric Gordon hitting step back threes on your face. You're not helping on these drives. Like, what's going on? And on offense, you're not even shooting. You brag about, oh, they're leaving me alone. They're leaving me wide open. I'm gonna hit these shots. Uh, okay, then hit them then. Hit them. Shoot them. You're better off shooting them than just standing there doing nothing and turning it over. Like, yeah, man. Congratulations to the Rockets winning game two. They're about to go to uh, home now. <sighs> do I see the Rockets taking one of those games? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. With the way that Steph is playing, with the way that Draymond is playing, absolutely I do. That is my prediction. One of those games, they're going to take him. And this ga this series will go to like six game series. And I'm taking the Warriors to win. The Warriors are a great defensive team. And that's what I'm banking on, personally. I'm banking on them playing their great defense. They have a lot of defensive players that are, when they're at their apex, it's a wrap. Don't nobody care about all those threes that you're shooting. It's a wrap. So, game of style 808. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Salute.